I'm doing another video response in my Yes And series today. This one is a response to my friend Teo of the YouTube channel The Letter 15. But you respond to him all the time. Well, yeah, but his videos are high quality, grass fed, and cage free. I think. Teo and I and another friend of ours have this running joke that we're basically the same person because of a series of rather freaky things we have in common. With Teo and I, one of those things has to do with our names. We both have names that are really close to normal names that normal people have in American society, except we're not normal people, so of course we can't have normal names. My name is Char. C-H-A-R, which sounds a lot like the normal person name, Charles. Well, my real name, the name on my birth certificate, is Charles, but my parents and everyone else around me have been calling me Char since I was a baby, to the point where that's basically my name. When people hear that my name is Char, they often demand an explanation. Is that short for anything? Yeah, it's short for Charles. So you're Chaz? No. Charlie? No. Chuck? No. And then there are people who see my name written and pronounce it Char, which, at least in this country, is short for Charlotte. And that one they actually apologize for because they've just called me a girl's name, even though it's spelled the exact same way. Gender is weird. There are other interesting things about having an uncommon abbreviation of a common name. In his video, Teo talks about hearing the word heyo and thinking people are talking to him. Char is a one-syllable word with a fairly usual vowel, so I often think I hear people saying my name. My favorite example of this happened when I was staying at my boyfriend's house for the first time. I woke up around 7 in the morning to the sound of what I thought was a woman saying, Char, Char. Turned out it was their cat meowing over the food she was about to eat. Before you say it, yes, I know, there is a fish called a char. I know it. I have eaten it at one point. There is also a fish called a jack, and I have a brother named Jack, and my parents are nerds. Char is also a name that lends itself to nicknames and puns. Back in college, I used to organize trips to help my housemates see more of Chicago. Without my permission, those quickly came to be known as Explore Charcago trips. Other nicknames I've been called over the years have included Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard, Chari Bari Ruchi by my mother after the picture book, Char Char Binks, Charming, Charlemagne, a racist one I won't mention on the internet, and the piece de resistance. In college, some people found out that I was a public radio junkie and called me N.P. Char. Speaking of Charmander, the cutest question I have ever been asked about my name is if I am actually named after a Charmander. And that, believe it or not, is impossible. The first Pokemon games came out in 1995, and I was born at the very end of 1994. That's right, I am one of the last people out there who is older than Pokemon, and I will absolutely use that fact against all you young whippersnappers out there. Thanks to Teo for the video idea, and thanks to all of you for the funny things that you're going to tell me about all of your names in the in the thing